Hi, welcome to the series on deploying Flask app with AWS RDS and Elastic Cache Redis. In the previous project, we understood about Nginx UWS GI Flask and PostgreSQL and SQL Alchemy Redis using Docker Compose to network between three Docker containers, translating Docker Compose specifications into Docker and AWS.json and deploying this multi-container application onto AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Now go to the project folder and go to the editor. So inside that, go to the main.py file. So if you remember, it is the place where we have defined the connection for our Flask app with the database and with the Redis. All right. So if you see, uh, if you remember, we have uh, connected to the DB using the credentials in the format, the username, password, host, port, and database, right? So we just used the values uh, like these values, which are mentioned in the, uh, uh, which are mentioned as the environment variables for the doc uh, database service. We just use those variables uh, here, right? So generally it is not a good practice to use the credentials here. Rather than that, we just, uh, switch to a method where we will access the environment variables in which we will be saving these credentials. All right. So we will be using uh, the values stored in those variables to access the credentials for the connection. For, so first we will go to the Docker Compose. And if you remember, these particular environment variables under DB service are mentioned for the user password and database name. Right. So we mentioned all these things because it is the way we just uh, use the image of Postgres. All right. So uh, using these, we are creating the database service. So this is the server and our web application web service is a client for this particular server, database server. Right. So we need to connect to the server using these credentials from our web service. So what we will do is instead of using the credentials directly from the application coded, we will use the uh, these variables over here as the environment variables and then access those environment variables in our application uh, and then uh, use those values instead of uh, these raw things, right? So let us see how to do that. So just copy paste this because this is the same credentials we need to uh, use for, uh, for the authentication, right? And um, so we have user, password, and DB. So here, basically, we need five uh, values. First is username, password, host, port, and database. So here we mentioned uh, the username, password, and database. So we also create two other variables for uh, host and port, environment variables. So here we just use that directly, but that is not the way we want to do now. So we will create two other variables. Uh, one is Postgres host equals DB, which is the service name right here. And then Postgres port equals, uh, the port is this thing only. So copy paste this over here and save it here. Okay. So it is like we are setting these particular values to these particular variables inside the container web service. Okay. Inside the OS of that. So the way we access the OS environment variables into the application using Python is this. Okay. So uh, let us just use this. So let us use the same kind of variable name so that we will not be getting confused is equal to OS dot oh, first we need to import the OS here. Okay. Then OS dot environ of Postgres user. Okay. So understand this. So this is something which we have defined in the Docker compose as the OS environment variable. So we are getting that OS environment variable and storing that value in this variable of this application of this Python file. All right. And then if you observe here, this is entirely a string, right? Because this, these words are ported inside the single quotes, right? So 
uh, we want to replace this with this and this should be an string format so we can achieve this task using the f strings of python so what this does is if we write f before this and uh, embed the value of a variable something like this so what this does is uh, after these words the value of this variable will be embedded here and then again this character comes this colon character comes and then in place of this the password variable will be embedded so basically we are embedding the values of variables inside a string using the f strings okay in python so uh, similarly let us also uh, see how to get the credentials for the password host port and database okay so basically we will be doing the same so i will just copy paste it several times because we are continuously going to use this only okay so copy it so i did four times because we need four values okay so after user we need to get the password so the password is this so in order to avoid any typing mistakes i'm just copy pasting these variable names uh, you can actually put any um, any variable name to the left side but on the right side you should be using the same environment environment variables right uh, and i'm using the same things same variable names just to avoid confusion because it will be easier for us to understand also right so the password is done then db then host and lastly the port copy paste okay so similarly we need to embed these values into the string using f strings right so just put curl brackets and replace this with the password because the second value we need is password of the user okay then db will be replaced by this okay and port will be replaced by this within a pair of curl brackets and oh sorry so this is host right this is host so that is the format right so first username password host port and database so lastly we will be using the database okay so these are the values which are needed for the connection of uh, the app to the database similarly let us uh, create the environment variables for the credentials needed to connect to the redis right so here we will be placing uh, redis host and here it is redis port all right so let us define the values for these in the environment variables over here the port is this thing right 6379 and the host is the redis server which is the redis service here okay this thing now we also need to get the values uh, of these environment variables using this format right so equals os dot environ of okay similarly the port equals os dot environ of okay save it so uh, basically this is the format so let us see let us check if everything is going fine by going to the command line and cross checking it it's working all right go to the command line uh, traverse the project directory okay so uh, let us run docker compose post down 
just for the sake of avoiding any issues and then docker compose up Wait. Okay, uh, seems everything goes good. Let us just go to the incognito mode and test it. Localhost. So let us test for getting something. Okay, so it got the details for this particular user from the database. And uh, so this is uh, like checking the connection for the database, right? So the connection seems to be not broken and it works to be fine. And let us now check the working of the Redis by similarly getting the details of the same user. So now, since the data is already fetched from the database, now when we query for the same user, we expect the results to be returned from the Redis. So yeah, so it changed, right? So uh, we have changed uh, from uh, the coding style where we have directly used the credentials into the application to the way which we will be uh, the way in which we will be getting the environment variables to get the values of the credentials for the database and Redis connections. All right, so this is a recommended way uh, because we will be modularizing uh, the application part and the credentials part over here, right? So the, you will be able to appreciate the use case of this particular uh, coding paradigm when we are uh, going through uh, forward in this series because uh, in this series, we will be focusing on deploying the app onto the AWS by using the uh, AWS RDS instance and Elastic Cache, which are the AWS services. So we will be learning how to connect to those instances from the uh, Elastic Beanstalk, for which this particular coding paradigm will be very useful. All right, so let's get to the next section. <clears throat> 